Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather in this afternoon update. We'll start off with the bullet points here. Really active pattern. I mean, we're just breaking records left and right for snow. California, Utah, Colorado. We'll look at all those in detail coming up. But with three more storms coming, it's going to push us over the top. A lot of additional snow in California, Utah, Wyoming, parts of Montana, and even some in Colorado as well. Um, looking at the specifics, the prime time for California is going to be 328, 329, and then again 4142. Um, the Tetons, um, you've got snow happening now, and then again, a really heavy stretch coming in 330 through about 43. I really like the flow over the Tetons. It looks pretty heavy, 3.30 to 4.3. So we'll look at all that coming up. I want to show you um, this blog post I did this morning. Um, some really good info in here, chrystomer.com. So deep snow through 4.3 and records broken. Here's what I'm talking about. Let me push into this. So Alta, 25 inches in the last 24 hours. I mean, everything shut down. The canyon was shut down this morning. Can't even get up there. There's just been so much snow. Um, they're at 7.49 for the season. 749. This is like the king winter for the Wasatch. Um, I have no doubt Alta is going to break 800 inches. Uh, it's just been incredible. 10 inches overnight in snow mass. Uh, Aspen Highlands um, is headed to 400 inches. I don't doubt it. Um, they're very close, actually, according to AspenWeather.net. Um, so I don't have any doubt that they're going to break that. Now let's look at some of the record breakers. So Utah's statewide snowpack, snow water equivalent, the amount of water in the snowpack is off the charts. And you can see it right here. See the black line on the chart? Um, it is now above and beyond what was the all-time state record, which was like which was 26 inches of snow water equivalent set back in 1983. We've already broken that now at 26.4, so we're we're rolling ahead. And Colorado San Juan Mountains, it's also a record breaker for this date. Um, you can see it in the chart. The black line the black line is off the charts now. Um, exceeding all other years on record on this day. We still have a little bit of work to go, though, for total maximum season. Um, snow water equivalent was set back in 1993 at 32 inches. Um, at 30 point, at, uh, yeah, it's still chasing that all-time record of 32 inches. We're currently at 30.4, so we've still got a little bit of work to do, but with consistent snow in the forecast in Colorado through the 4th, um, the 3rd, 4th of um, April. This is not out of the question. Um, California sitting in second right now at the uh, UC Berkeley Central Sierra Snow Lab over Donner. Um, you can see it's very close uh, to breaking 2010, 2011. We're almost there. And some places have already set their um, absolute snow accumulation record. So we're a very close. So we're, we're, we're right there. The forecast pattern. This was the jet forecast from this morning with a very defined area of low pressure on the 3rd of April. Things have changed a little bit. Let me show you this afternoon's update for the jet now. It's much more like that storm is just waiting up in the Pacific Northwest. It has yet to dig into the West, so it's a little slower in this, in this, uh, a little more um, progressive in this, or um, uh, west to east in this, this pattern update for the afternoon versus like I showed you this morning, it was much more mature, but we're still waiting on that low for with this afternoon jet update. Let me take you back, and I want to show you um, forecast timing. Um, so this was the forecast radar and satellite. I'm going to take it full screen so you can see it. All right, here's the view on Sunday morning. Snow still over Big Sky, the Tetons, Idaho, moving down into Colorado through Monday, and then that's out. Here comes the next big storm, 28-29 into California. That's the one that's going to drop one to three feet in the Sierra, and then it's going to hit the Wasatch, the Tetons, Sun Valley, Big Sky, and then eventually that's going to roll through Colorado, and there's one more storm behind this. That's that one that just we're just trying to time out for the third, fourth, somewhere in there. That when it rolls into the west. All right, so that's the uh, the future. Let me show. I did a breakout of Alta. A um, lot of snow ahead. I mean, there's some snow almost every single day, and look how heavy it gets. 3:30 through 4:30. I mean, we're talking uh, 8 to 10 every single day. That's going to be a really heavy stretch if this plays out. Um, those are my forecast totals from this morning. Let me show you what I'm looking at this afternoon. So the rest of today through tomorrow, pretty light stuff except up in Montana where we could see 9, 10 inches, 8, 9, 10 inches through Discovery, Big Sky, and Bridge. And actually, Grand Targhee will do quite well. Another 6 overnight. 2 to 5 in Colorado, 1 to 5. All right, here's the second period. This is a big one right here. 
um, one to three feet on the way for the Sierra. Um, in the Tetons, another couple of feet. Um, and those numbers could go up depending on the track of that final storm system with the jet. But another one to two feet for the Wasatch and in Colorado, six to 12 on the way, 328 through 43. And big numbers up in parts of Oregon as well. All right, let's look at the Northeast. Very light snows continuing into 326, and there may be one more storm down the road, but these numbers are all pretty light, anywhere from 2 to 6 in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. All right, guys, lots of info there. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care. Have a good weekend.